Hi friends, now I would like to tell you about criticism in marriage and how to deal with it. Nothing could hurt a marriage more than criticism. Unfortunately, sometimes the partners fail to maintain self-restraint and get to criticize each other, leading to an unexpected crisis. One criticizes in many ways, for example, finding fault with each other's families is criticism. Similarly, praising your own family out of context can also be understood to mean that the partner's family is not as good. We cannot overlook that people have attachments that are hard or hard to distinguish and one can be sentimental and sensitive about them. One partner can be very sensitive when the other says, you do not love me as much as I love you. You cannot qualify or quantify love. But you can hurt your partner by making such comparisons that have no meaning. You could equally hurt the person by saying, you are not as smart and intelligent as I am. Can you explain what is the basis of such a comparison? You cannot. So why are you saying such strange things? Most women and some men are very conscious about their clothes and their sense of dress. Criticize them even by mistake and you are in trouble. These people will not take it quietly. Another thing that could be explosive is when one of the partners claims that he or she could have got a better partner if you could or if you were not there. Then why did you not get out, get one when you decided to marry? These are afterthoughts and cannot be accepted by any reasonable person. Every person is also sensitive about one's sense of fairness or firmness. The moment you doubt the person's sense of fairness, you have disturbed a nest of bees. Be prepared to be stung and take back your words. Say sorry. People have their pet jokes that they love telling everyone. It is obvious that the partners would be too used to them to the limit that they might have become a bore. This could be the reality, but still, that does not give a partner the right to tell the other that you have no sense of humor. This could ignite an immediate retaliation and create unpleasantness. If you desire to maintain happiness in your marriage, the best rule is do not hate below the belt. This means that if your conversation do not touch any issue that the partner may be sensitive about, then it will be alright. Accept the fact that everyone has his or her sensitivities. It would be in one's interest not to touch them. If your partner does criticize you sometimes, do not retaliate. Accept criticism with a pinch of salt. Raise about these things and be happy. Or that criticism, criticism could be real. And it may be to improve you. If it is in that way, then try to change yourself or improve upon your mistake and then you will not hear that criticism again. Friends, if you like my thinking about this topic in marriage, do comment, share and tell me what you feel about it in the comments. And subscribe to my channel. Take care and lots of love to you all. Bye.